Portia, so that's what we have behind us mm. here, the students who have arrived in the country. Exactly. As some parents of stranded students in Ukraine have been expressing concern about their children's plight at a meeting with the Foreign Affairs Ministry. Judith Awachetando was at that meeting and reports. I'm here in Cape Coast to meet a special girl and she's known as Ayi. She wants the whole world to know that disability is not inability. Let's meet her. Hello, Ayeyi. How are you doing? I'm fine. And you? I'm also fine. Let's now turn our attention to abandoned hospitals in the country and the newly constructed Tolon District Hospital is still under lock and key more than eight months after it was commissioned. The 60-bed hospital to provide health care services, including surgery, is yet to be put to use. I'm just coming off the Golf B1601, a light aircraft manufactured by two brothers here in Ghana. And they tell me they need financial support as well as a license to become like the Wright brothers, that's the forefathers in the aviation industry. Ghana is currently recording a surge in COVID-19 cases. At the Ga East Municipal Hospital, we have close to 60 persons who have contracted COVID-19. Now, persons who have contracted COVID-19 have a simple message to Ghanaians that we must strictly adhere to the COVID-19 safety protocols. South MP Hajia Zuwira Ibrahima has promised to take up the cost of medical examination of the 19 pupils of the Kulpi Primary and Junior High School who have allegedly been sodomized by their teacher. Parents of the alleged victim have been unable to allow their children to undergo the medical examination due to financial constraints more than a week after the news broke. Let me take you to Kiosk Estate, one of the sprawling real estate property markets in Ghana. It is not your usual estate or apartments, but I'm here at Kiosk Estate at Boteman in the Tamar West municipality of the Greater Accra region. We're here to see how people live here and do their daily activities here. Let's get inside and see how it looks like. Hello, Madam Bosha. Welcome to my home. Okay. I stay in Kios Estate. Yeah, my my uh, kitchen this, my bathroom this. If Anabes comes if the free can break this thing, steal me for here. We maybe I know day house. I travel, go some place, go work. My room this. If be here we at the strip every day. Yeah, my bed this. This is my bed way at the bed top. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the uh, share menu. It's been a hard day for many of these immigrants who have settled here in Ghana to beg on the streets of Accra. It's 11 p.m. here at Abusiokai, while many may see this place as a mere pavement. For these beggars on the street of Accra, they call this place their home. Four in critical condition at the hospital. What is their current state now? Yeah, they are, they are, I mean, the doctors are attending to them. And then uh, as I speak, I mean, I just left the place. So uh, possibly if we we'll wait maybe tomorrow, then we'll find out how they are doing. Now these miners, can you confirm if they are illegal miners or licensed small-scale miners? No, you see, so, um, they, are, they are illegal miners. They say we call it galamsey. They're illegal miners. Yep. Yep. But it's interesting you're saying illegal miners because illegal mining galamsey has been bombed. How come you no, and your security it, team yeah. miss this? My sister, you see, sometimes the dynamics on the ground, you can say that, yes. But then, you know, the Fristan Huni Valley, the resources are bound. They are in different forms. And these different forms, they do in different activities. And sometimes, they, you know, scale places, not all the areas that sometimes it comes into our... But any time that those areas come into our notice, we quickly write them and make sure that we get them out of the place. 